So guys, welcome back to our channel once again. Today on our biology exam revision series, you will learn about respiration and metabolism. So in short, it's stated at the end of this video, as this is an important topic in your biology. Also, at the end of this lesson, you will get a free biology exam revision question for you to test your knowledge. Obviously, we need energy to keep our body running. This energy comes from food and it's transferred by respiration. So respiration is not just breathing in and breathing out. Respiration involves many reactions and these reactions are really important reactions as this process of respiration transfers all the energy that the cells need to carry out all living processes. So it is important for you to understand that respiration is not just breathing in and breathing out as you might think. Respiration involves the process of transferring energy from the breakdown of glucose and it occurs in every cell in your body continuously. It happens in plants too. All living things respire and that is how they transfer energy from their foods to the cells. Another point for you to remember is that respiration is exothermic which means it releases energy to the environment. So respiration transfers energy for all kinds of things, such as to build large molecules from smaller ones, like building up proteins from amino acids. In animals, it is used to allow the muscle to contract so that they can move about. In mammals and birds, the energy is used to keep their body temperature in steady states in colder surroundings. So guys, in a cell at all the times, there are chemical reactions that are occurring and these reactions are controlled by enzymes. Many of these reactions are linked together to form bigger reactions. So if we have reactants here, enzymes will catalyze their reactions to form products and then these products will join up to form other products with the help of other enzymes and this continues just this way. So in some of these reactions, larger molecules are made from smaller ones. For instance, lots of glucose can join up together to form starch, glycogen and cellulose. Glucose can also be combined with nitrate ions to make amino acids, which can then be made into proteins. In other reactions, however, the larger molecules can be broken down into smaller ones. For instance, glucose can be broken down in respiration. So respiration transfers the energy needed to power all the reactions in the body that make molecules. Also, Excess protein is broken down in a reaction to produce urea and urea is excreted in the urine. So the sum total of all the reactions that happens in the cells in the body are called metabolism. Alright guys, so here is a free exam revision question for you to test your knowledge on this lesson. Feel free to pause this video and try it out. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you are new to this channel, please ensure to join our Telegram channel using the link in the description of this video below to get instant updates and notifications for your exams. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if this video was helpful. Also ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.